good morning. How many of you like wrinkles? You know, I have so missed wearing lipstick during the pandemic because you put a mask on. But I've decided that I'm going to still... I'm going to put some on and just let it get on the back of my mask and wash them. And then the paper ones I can just throw away. No eye makeup, which don't really bother me anymore, but I know that I look better with a little eye makeup. But I'm going to the eye doctor. I keep dropping, y'all. I think that my uh, phone holder's not used to clean windshields on the inside. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and now my screen's all dirty. What a mess. What a mess this YouTuber is. <laughs> oh, I was just saying, I miss wearing lipstick. I need lipstick. I need a little color on my face because I'm so white and washed out. But anyway, this windshield is so good because I can just put you really over to the far, far side. And it's even better. And, but I think I was saying, <laughs> I'm not really centered, but hey, well, I'm afraid to touch it at this point. I might need to. Y'all, I love my new car. And yes, Lexus are expensive. It's the most expensive car I've ever had. There we go. I don't have to explain this to anybody. But uh, we got a great price when we sold our car and we had saved our income tax money, so we were able to put a great down payment on it. So, praise God for that. And like I said, and there again, I don't owe anybody an explanation. <laughs> I just love little catty remarks I get sometimes. But um, we keep cars eight to 10 years. So, Lexus is made by Toyotas. We had looked at the Highlanders too. I liked them. And, uh, but we went with this because I believe it'll serve us well. Not that I have to explain. <laughs> okay, I tried calling mother, but she didn't answer. She's probably out with the dog, but I'll have to try her back in a little while. That always makes me nervous. But, uh, whoo, I'm all over the board this morning. And I hate to talk to y'all in, um, sunglasses, but boy, my eyes are have been super sensitive since um, I've had this cataract surgery, so it'll have to be this in order for me to talk. But I finally, 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 finally got a journal ready to start writing in again. I have not journaled in so long. Now, I did my prayer journal all during the mentoring program. So I've got just about a whole notebook full of prayer journaling and prayers. And, you know, it's kind of hard to find, I call it planner piece. I, I'm real funny. A lot of people change planners every month. They use all, people spend a lot of money on planners. I am kind of the sort that when I buy a planner, I feel real obligated to use it. And you know what? I did not get my book. Dad gum it. Oh well. I had my book. I have gone back into a Lustrum 1917. And I'm not I am doing bullet journaling, but I'm doing it very casually and just keeping up with everything. It's a lot to keep up with everything for mother everything I need to do, just, you know, household things. I don't know how y'all get things done without a list. I have to have a list. And so, um, I, it's not been decorated. I'm just writing in it. I'm writing down stuff, things that happen. I'll stop and I'll write a prayer in it. And so, um, but I, I wanted I hate so badly that I have not journaled events and feelings during the coronavirus. I wished I had done that, but I was not journaling at the time. And then I got so sick, and then it took me so long to really get over it. And uh, I have seen different, I love to watch planner videos and journaling videos. 
and I have seen people that have journaled all the way through it and I think that's gonna be wonderful for people to have but um, I'm not gonna have it but my spiritual journal is the most important thing to me but I'm I wanted to put together and I'll, I'll share some of it with you later uh, kind of how I'm doing it and how I've sat down because I think I'm gonna keep it back up I think I'm on a roll um, and then I'm trying to set up a new prayer journal since I've almost finished that other notebook. I'm trying to fit up, set up a prayer journal into sections. Uh, when we went through mentoring, Pastor Jamie told us it was, well, we read a book. We did a book on prayer and it, it was wonderful. Oh my gosh, it just kind of like opened your eyes. This weekend, I just, I'm gonna just tell you, I know that when we have prayer on the porch, I know that y'all are praying for me because this is the second time, and it's probably happened more than this, but this is the second time it's been so obvious to me that after I sacrifice, and I don't really call it sacrificing my time, but sometimes it's going against the odds of how I feel, and I get out on the porch and we have that prayer time together. Inevitably, there's been two times that I have noticed a remarkable difference in how I feel the next day and the next days. Now, some may say, Suzanne, you're just at the end of your flare. Maybe so, I don't know. But I just truly believe it's the prayers. And talking to y'all and you saying, I'm praying for you. I mean, I, I, I just sat down last night and said, answer all your comments. Do not do these people this way. Um, I want to know that people have read my comments, whether they're silly, happy. It just makes me feel invested with that YouTuber. And I don't comment a whole lot. And I told some of my YouTube friends that I haven't commented as much because I watch so much on my television now. But y'all are tremendous with your comments. And thank you for um, building Rita so much. Because I'm going to tell you, he really is talented. And I know his camera work is horrible. But he's nine. Hey, he's fixing to be ten. Ah, just can't even imagine. So... But I have felt so much better. Now, I've been tired, but I've not been debilitating tiredness. I've not had that this weekend. And so, we went to church yesterday. I was just extremely blessed. And that this morning, I started right now because pastors teaching, preaching, preaching on the redeeming blood of Christ. And I think I had mentioned that to y'all. And I'm telling you, when we really, really stop and think what the blood does for us, the sacrifice of Jesus' blood, and how we, what was the word he used? He told us that we need to appropriate the blood to our lives. And this morning, I just sat down I was just thanking God, writing in my journal. Just I just said, just start writing, Suzanne. Just start. <laughs> that's what I actually put in there, and that's what I did. And my hands hurt a lot the last few months. The peripheral neuropathy is in my hands pretty bad. And so it's hard for me to write, so I just stopped. Now, that's the thing I think is so beneficial about journaling that you can sit down in your quiet time and think it and meditate it and pray it and then write it. And I will write more than I will say out loud sometimes. It's, or should I say it's easier for me to. And so I'll write and then my hand gets to hurting and then I will stop and then I'll meditate on either a sermon or a scripture so to me, it's such a blend. And I'm writing, there's parts when I'm writing just as journaling, but then there's parts where I'll say, Father, I thank you for this. I'm writing to God. And you know, what if you couldn't speak? 
what if you couldn't pray out loud? Do you not think he would accept your written prayers? Of course he would. Of course he would. And um, I don't know. There's just power in writing to me, writing the prayers. Anyway, I just started thinking about all the things that Pastor has said in the last two weeks. And I'm going to try to put a lesson together with this because I'm feeling it, y'all. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like I can. And thank y'all for praying for me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, but he started talking about, we know it's a saving blood. We know that that's how we receive our salvation. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. But he shed his precious blood that we can have remission of sins. And by having remission of sins, we are saved. And when we are saved, we are promised eternal life. So he saves us with that. And it's because it came from the spotless lamb. In, in the Old Testament, they would look for a spotless lamb. And pastor said something yesterday that I've never heard before. That before they would crucify or sacrifice, before they would sacrifice a spotless lamb, that they were required to bring it into the home with them for four days. Maybe to protect it. Maybe to get to know it. Maybe for it to be real. There's there's many, many views that you could take on that. And he said, don't you imagine that if you brought a precious little spotless lamb into your house with children, by the end of that four days, those children are going to be loving that lamb. And that lamb's going to be loving them. <laughs> Man, that <laughs> that a preach right there. <laughs> I never have heard that they were required to bring it into their home four days prior. That would be so hard. I mean, Mr. Giggles that was on my shoulder, and I think it's Miss Giggles, but anyway, I'm gonna call it Mr. Giggles right now. Um it didn't take me 10 minutes to get so attached to that kitty cat sitting up on my shoulder. And you think about bringing in that precious lamb to your house before you sacrifice it. So you're sacrificing something that has become precious to you. Something that you know is innocent. But yet it's necessary. Oh my gosh. God sent his spotless lamb to us that ne Jesus had never done anything. He was such, you know, God's son, but he came to live in this fleshly body. And guys, he had the same desires, the same temptations that we did because he was in flesh. So when that blood, and pastor said it was not spilled, it was given, it was poured out for us. Spilling the blood is an accident. This was intentional on purpose that he did it for us. Poured. He allowed his blood to be poured out for us. And therefore, it becomes sacred blood. Oh, wow. Sacred blood. You know, we just have got to draw back sometimes. Sit back. You know, refocus, regroup, and remember that when we talk about the blood of Jesus, to remember it was precious, innocent, sacred blood, saving blood. It was from the innocent lamb that freely, and those little lambs they brought into the house, they didn't know what was ahead of them, but Jesus Christ did. Jesus Christ did and he still did it for us. Man, what love. That song says, they hung him high, they spread him wide. For me and you, he died. That's love. That's love. Wow. I'm just telling you, the blood covers sins. The blood conquers. He, you know, by the shedding of his blood, the Bible says that he conquered death, 
hill in the grave. That doesn't mean that we're not going to go through that. It means that when we go through that, that we have victory over it and that we are victorious because our brother, our joint heir, Jesus Christ, he conquered it for us. Man, I just, you know, I don't want to take for granted the blood of Jesus. And I purposed in my heart yesterday that I'm praying the blood over every situation in my life. That's one of the things I'm going to sit down and do probably this afternoon. Is to apply the blood in ink, in pen, in verbally, but in ink too. Apply the blood to every situation in my life that is difficult that just needs protection, that needs power. I've got a lot of situations that the enemy just, and you do too, the enemy just knows where to kick you in the gut. But I'm here to tell you today that the spotless lamb came that we could have life and not just have life, but to have it abundantly by living in him and having victory. I'm telling you, Jessica, my niece, and I have been praying about a situation whew, for a long time, long time, and um, we prayed the prayer of agreement months ago, and then throughout different things that's been happening, we even said one day in prayer together, God, if we're wrong about what we're asking and what we're desiring for this other person. If we're wrong, even show us that we're wrong. So see, we, we opened our minds up more. Instead of telling God what we wanted, we opened up and said, what is your will for this person? What is your will for this situation? And we prayed very specific things. We prayed, one of the things that we pray, prayed was for blinders to be taken off of eyes because we knew there was deceivement in what we were praying for. Well, I'm here to tell you, before we knew what was happening two weeks ago, God completely answered. Now, we've prayed a long time. We've been praying earnestly together for over a year, if not more. Probably more. I, I there again, should a journal, but now I have I have some of it in my prayer journal. But before we knew what was happening, it happened, and it took a week, probably for us to know, or you know, to know that it happened. And the more that we hear, <laughs> the more that those specific prayers were answered. I'm telling you, it is a major, major answer from God. I praise him for that and I never, never want to take that for granted. But I'm telling you that today to say there were times that, especially Jessica, there were times she would say, this is just, this is going to happen. And it wasn't a good outcome, but it just looked like it was going to that. And I said, but we're praying, we're going to pray that that's not what's going to happen. That's not what's going to happen. We're standing together. Pray in Matthew 18, 19, the prayer of agreement. That if any two agree together on this earth, according to God's will, that it shall be done. And I'm here to tell you, find your prayer partner. Pray the prayer of agreement together. And pray for God's will to be done. I'm telling you, we have received a complete miracle where blinders were taken off of eyes. And they couldn't see, but they see so clearly now. And the situation is 100%, 100% resolved. Oh, I'm telling you, the devil does not want this message to go forth. This thing has fallen twice, but I'm almost through. But now I could just keep talking and keep talking. The blood. It reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley yes it does the blood 
that gives me strength from day to day it will never lose its power the reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley yes it does the blood that gives me strength from day to day it will never lose it will never lose it will never lose its power i love you guys go into the eye doctor talk to you later bye bye go in these people are <laughs> these people keep telling me where is my mall tell them to pull on wore out things right here <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do a video real soon because they are missing you and I, i'm gonna tag you on the end of my video today so let them know that you're alive and well <laughs> not, not so well but i'm just alive <laughs> she's alive and miss prissy's over here oh she gotta stop and scratch <laughs> I've got, they've sent questions that they want to ask you, so I need to get that done here. Is that right? Yeah. What? Okay. It's got to be surprise questions so we can get your true answer. <laughs> okay. Kind of like, what is an Uber and that kind of stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She just told me a while ago, she said, if I had one of them phones like you would, I wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> well, tell everybody, hey. Hey. And that you'll, we're going to do a video real soon, aren't we? Yeah, right, so, but not out here in New York. No, I'm not out here today. I'm going home. Because one of these big trees might kill us while we're doing it. <laughs> Tell them bye. Bye. Bye, y'all. Watch it. If you're going to hang around as long as I do, you got to be careful. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>